and say welcome um, everyone. Thanks so much, Karen and Megan, for being with us live today. We hope we'll have a few more people join us. I'm Cole Bartow. I'm the Continuing Education Coordinator at the State Library. And we're here to kick off the MSL Learn webinar series for this year. Your hosts are myself, um, Cole rhymes with Olay. I always like to throw that in to help people out. Um, and then I am so glad to be joined by my good friend, Bobby DeMontney, who is the um, Montana Library Network Technical Support Goddess and, um, and Master. So uh, Bobby and I are, are uh, excited to be able to work on this series and, and uh, share and host um, over the coming months. Welcome, Amelia. We're glad to see you here with us. And um, with that, and keeping with our 30-minute promise for each of these sessions, I'm going to just dive in a little bit and say that we're going to share the purpose for this series, a little bit about the plan, and then I want to preview a new resource for you for continuing education. Uh, what's in it for you, kind of the purpose statement, is that uh, we want to have um, access to reliable um, and flexible options for you to help plan your continuing education and certification activities. Um, and then our other purpose is to be able to provide timely and helpful updates on the programs and services of the State Library. Our webinar series for this year starts today with our kickoff and a platform tour of the MSL Learn um, online learning platform. Uh, and just so you see, we have these dates scheduled. Um, these are the second Tuesday schedule. And then, Bobby, I don't know if you want to mention um, and talk a little bit about the tiny tech training schedules, which are the last Tuesday of each month. Yeah, so uh, in surveys and in all the different feedback we've been getting, we've been hearing things about people want technical credit for their certifications, and I'm going to do my best to deliver on that. So on the, yeah, the last Tuesday of the month, there will be tiny tech trainings. Each of those trainings will cover two topics. They are somewhat related and will give it 30 minutes and talk about each of those, and they will also be recorded for future resources. That is awesome. And so just along the lines of, of letting you know how to find all of these things, um, I just wanted to share that it's, it's actually pretty straightforward and easy to do a search in the Aspen event calendar. If you look for MSL Learn, then it's going to pull up the list that includes the second Tuesday trainings as well as the last Tuesday trainings, which are the tiny tech trainings. So um, use that MSL Learn as your search terms in the events calendar, and it's gonna pull up that full list. You can also look at the calendar as well, and you'll see each of the sessions. Um, we've al already put them all onto the calendar for 2023. So that's just a little tip to learn about to, um, to take a look and find each of the sessions. So the, the um, meeting links are in those calendar events as well as the recording link after we, we finish each time. Um, and speaking of recordings, we wanted to just point out that the Montana State Library YouTube channel, we've done a little bit of changing and um, kind of organized all of the new content from webinars and meetings into this channel. So you can look for a recording of this session in a playlist called MSL Learn Webinar Series after we conclude, probably a little bit later this afternoon. And you know, while you're there, you can also look at the other variety of playlists and recordings that you can access, either for continuing education or to just stay up with what's happening with either the State Library Commission or the various committees that meet for uh, the State Library. Um, we'd love it if we could grow our subscriber base so you can subscribe to the Montana State Library YouTube channel. And, um, and that would be just lovely. Okay, so that's kind of like the overview of the webinar series for this year and some ways to find out where those are happening, what the topics are and that. 
Um, but the other thing that we wanted to share today is something that we're, I guess, kind of softly launching today, and that is the MSL Learn online courses. Um, we want to be able to provide a, um, a, again, a flexible way for you to learn about the topics and the, the things that help you do your job and be successful. So um, a couple of years ago, it started out with using the online learning platform or the tool called Moodle. And so over this last uh, few months, um, as I've been coming on board and, and kind of getting the lay of the land, um, we're going to continue to use that tool and we've rebranded it or branded it as MSL Learn. And so those of you who might um, be familiar with the term learning management system, that's what Moodle is. It's that tool. But what you we want you to know is that MSL Learn is going to be the, the name of the service that you can access um, to take online courses on your own schedule and um, with topics that are hopefully of interest to you as we grow that list of courses that are actually available. So really important, um, MSL Learn, you'll see uh, our branding and our logos, logos and that sort of thing. Um, and I'll take you on a, a little bit of a live tour here in just a moment. But when you get to the MSL Learn homepage, this is what it looks like, and you need to log in. And what we've done, um, and uh, we're excited about this, but also, you know, just want to really point out that we wanted to have fewer logins and using the same logins across multiple services. And so this is set up so that you can use your Aspen email and login credentials, the ones that we use uh, with, with the um, service called Okta. And so um, you can log into MSL Learn right now with those credentials. It's going to send you an email um, to have you fill in a couple of pieces of information, first name, last name, make sure your email address is correct in that service. And then the kind of the special bonus is that if you fill out your profile with your library name in the institution field, then you actually get your first badge with the MSL Learn site. So I'll show you what that looks like here in just a second. But as with everything, and we know that with the transition to Okta as the way to log into MSL services, there's sometimes glitches. And so I can't emphasize enough how important it is to submit a help ticket. And in the MSL Learn site itself, you'll see exactly this button, the big red help button. You click on that and it brings you to our ticketing system. And you, um, between Bobby and I, um, we are the people who will help you with any of those technical issues. So again, please use that help ticket um, submission button to help us make sure that we're um, on top of any barriers or any difficulties that, that you might have in getting to this service. Um, and with that, as I said, um, once you log in um, and you get that email that asks you to fill in a few details, uh, you can enter um, the under the optional settings um, for your user profile, the name of your library or institution, um, and then you'll get a badge. And that badge looks like the uh, first icon at the top here. Uh, so you can enroll in courses. And you can once you complete a course, you can download a completion certificate that looks like the second icon or the second image on this slide. Um, download that certificate, and then you can go into Aspen and claim the, the credit for the courses. So they'll range from half a credit, like we're doing today, up to three or four hours for a course, just depending on the length of time that we've estimated that it might take to, to go through a course and complete it. So you can get credit. Um, and if you're working towards certification, you can claim those credits in Aspen. And um, so that's you know, part of our flexibility and um, hopefully you know, being able to provide some content that's, that's um, easy to get to with those same logins and that. So once we, um, kind of look at this overview. I wanted to, I'm going to stop my screen sharing 
and I am going to see if there are any questions, but I would just wanted to kind of do a live demonstration of what the MSL Learn site looks like. And Bobby, I just wanted to check in with you too to see if there's anything that I missed or that you would like to add. Oh, just if you do have any trouble logging into Aspen or um, logging into MSL Learn, please don't hesitate to open up a ticket. Um, I'm watching that very regularly. We know that with that transition comes different changes for folks, and I'm really trying hard to monitor that. So yeah, if you get stuck, please, please, please open up a ticket, and I'll do everything I can to get you working again. Thank you. Okay, um, are OPN re renewal units available for this session? Karen, yes, and that's, thank you for asking that question. So um, once you complete a course and um, then I'm gonna have to, I'm, actually that's a really good question because I don't have an automatic way to, um, to translate those into OPI renewal units. So just email me if you want OPI renewal units once you complete a course. Um, and I'll put some I'll put some explainer language about that. Um, oh, I'm so glad you asked that question because it was some, something that I hadn't thought about yet. Any other questions? Okay. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and share my screen. Um, a little bit different view. So this is the actual MSL Learn site. And I'll um, put the link to the site or Bobby, if you want to grab the URL and put that into the chat. Um, this is this is the home page. This is where you land when you come to MSL Learn. Um, and I am logged in um, and I'll, I'll log out and, and uh, kind of show you what that looks like. But once you come to the MSL Learn site, you'll see this uh, language that tells you how to log in. Um, and this is visible when you, um, even before you log in. There's a couple of helpful bits of information about our terms of use, privacy, and expectations for online conduct. You can take a look at that. Um, and then the other thing that we've created and we'll continue to add to, it's something that's called a glossary, but it's basically all of the, the lingo and the acronyms and the terms that we commonly use with programs and resources and services associated with the state library. So this is something that even if you don't log in um, and you can't remember what NAC stands for or ARPA or something like that, this is a, a place that you can go to look at um, and look up that information. Right now, um, we have one course that you can actually enroll in. Once you get your login um, in successfully and you take a look at the site, you just scroll down a little bit more and you'll see course categories. And our intention is to fill in more courses for public library continuing education in each of the four continuing ed categories, um, library administration, library services to the public, collection management and technical services and technology. And um, there are a couple of courses in state library employee training. Um, and I can show you those in a second and, and those would be fine for, for anybody to take. But for right now, um, and this is why I said earlier that this is kind of a soft launch of our site, I have one course that's available for anybody to take. Um, it is in the library administration category. I'm going to click on that. And you'll see the description of the course. And as we add courses, there will be more and more um, in this category and the others. The title of the course is Montana State Library, A Greater State of Knowledge. Um, I'll have the kind of the objectives for each of the course. It will tell you about how long it will take for you to complete the course and the, the continuing ed category, which is library administration. Opened this course up just yesterday for enrollment. And the way to enroll in the course is to actually just click on the title of the course. Little icon here um, indicates that you can self-enroll. 
And our intent is that almost all courses will be self-enrolling. All you have to do is click on it, and then it becomes part of the courses that are in your list of courses. So this is what it looks like. Um, it, it'll look a little bit different for you when you log in, um, just because you'll be logging in as, as a student. Um, but for example, uh, uh, if I click on my courses, um, and I have a bunch of courses because I'm uh, Bobby and I are developing and designing courses as we speak, but on your My Courses tab, you will always see the list of courses that you are enrolled in, um, and you can get to that course that way as well. I'm going to go back to the home and um, again, just show you that courses as they are added will be added in these categories. And um, we're also tagging courses. So if there's a topic or um, I know that a lot of trustees uh, are looking for courses specifically for them. So we'll use those tags as we add more courses so that you can search by you know, whatever that topic or keyword is. And, and then as those tags are part of the description or part of the content of the courses, um, you'll be able to, to find those as well. For now, I'm just mentioning that because we have one course that, that I'd love some folks to take. Um, and it really is all about the State Library and learning about not just some of the things that you might be most familiar with, especially with public libraries and um, continuing education and the programs that you come in touch with all of the time, but it really is an overview of all of the programs and resources that the State Library has to offer. Um, so please, uh, as you have time and ha as you're interested, uh, love to have folks take this course and um, that's a good test of our um, ability to design interesting courses as well as you know help us um, you know think about what are the next things that we would want to develop so that you have more courses that are relevant to you also flexible and um, you know topical and, and timely as well so with that the only other thing I was going to mention with um, the way that the courses are set up, you can self-enroll. Um, you have to complete all of the required elements of the course, um, and we ask that you do an evaluation. And then once that evaluation is complete, then that unlocks your badge, and it unlocks your uh, course certificate. And that's the point where you will go to Aspen Um, you know, log into Aspen and go to the continuing education control panel. And I'm just going to use mine as an example here. Um, and then this, um, the course is going to be available in the drop down list. Um, I uh, use the the date that the courses are open. I've already claimed this course, but um, again, if, if there's uh, if you're having trouble finding it or whatever, that's where a help desk to get to uh, can also get directly to me and, and to Bobby, and and we can help figure that out. But you'll be able to claim the credit here in the continuing ed control panel, um, and it will appear in your list of courses. So um, I have the MSL Learn online course uh, that I just described, the MSL Greater State of, of Knowledge course, and that appears in my, in my list of credits. Stop sharing that. And then, I'm going to go back to the PowerPoint here. All right, so what questions, what other questions do you have um, about either the series, the MSL Learn webinar series, or the MSL Learn platform that we can talk about or explore?
And no worries if there aren't any today. Um, you can always get a hold of us and I'll share my contact information in just a moment. But please do stay, stay in touch with us via our website. Um, you, if, if, if you aren't already subscribed to our newsletters, the MLN newsletter, um, Amelia's Lifelong Learning Digest, um, and the Continuing Education uh, newsletter that I do each month, uh, highly recommend that you do that. Um, it makes it easy to share information and to be up to date on all of the great things that we have out there. Um, the help desk, those tickets are really important, especially if you're having login or technical issues. Um, we have the Aspen events calendar that is your go-to place. You'll be able to find the webinar series. You'll be able to find the online courses and that through Aspen event calendar and, and then also claiming that credit. Really encourage you to check out that uh, YouTube channel um, to stay in touch and to also access recordings that you can claim for credit. And then, as always, um, please feel free to email us or call us, um, and we would be just more than happy to to visit with you. Could you go over how to get to the control panel again, please? Oh, absolutely, mind? absolutely. See, let me change my screen here. So that was a change, and Bobby, jump in too. What, um, whenever you, whenever uh, you need to. But um, so we made some changes to that continuing education control panel a couple months ago to make it a little bit more streamlined mm -hmm. to um, actually claim credits. So on the Aspen homepage, and I am logged in as myself, that's always the important first step. In the blue box, I have a few more options than you do, but if you use this continuing education link here, that brings you to your CE control panel. Okay, so it's just right under the login in that. Yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Great. yeah. And and so you. Um, you can, if if you don't have a track already started, this is where you start your certification track. And you can see your past certifications. And then the independent learning events is where you would be able to select MSL sponsored events, MLA sponsored events, because we'll enter, like for the upcoming MLA conference, we'll enter all of those sessions and then they'll be available to claim if you attended um, after, after the date of the, the events. Um, you can then also create your new independent learning events here. So things that MSL does not sponsor or that MLA doesn't sponsor, I'm talking about Web Junction or TechSoup, or um, even if your local government sponsors a training that you need for your job, all of those sorts of things are independent learning events that you can enter on your own with just a couple of details. Um, I'm jumping other... in, uh, universal yeah, yeah. class, absolutely, take advantage of universal class, those also count for new independent learning events, and that's available to you through the Libby app or um, LibbyApp.com, uh, it's part of your Montana Library to go package. And Bobby's going what to be talking called? more about that at the tech tiny tech training next time on the 31st of January, so it's universal class. Yeah, sign up for that training if you can. Even if you can't make it on the spot, you can still um, access the recording. And it, um, I'll, I've got a little video prepared, and we'll go through all the stuff. It's um, there's some steps, but once you get in there, it's not too hard at all, and you're going to be stunned at how much is available right there at your fingertips. Is that on the calendar? Will that be on the calendar, that training? Yes, it should be there right now. Uh, right there, yeah, she's showing you on the 31st, MSL Learn Tiny Tech Training. Thank you. And you'll see, like I said, the all of the tiny tech trainings, all of these second Tuesday MSL Learn 
uh, webinar series are on the calendars already. So you can pre-register um, and then we'll have the recordings available too. And all of these give you that technology CE that everyone wants so very, very much. Yeah, and I think, you know, and this is something, especially as I've been learning Aspen over the, the last nine, 10, almost 10 months now, um, you know, looking, you can look at the calendar, but then also scroll down and you'll be able to see all of the uh, events that you can claim credit and register for. So as I said, you know, this, it starts with the latest dates. And so we've, we've scheduled out these sessions through December, 2023. Could, yeah. Are these available to get continuing ed and OPI, or is that a? Yeah. Yep. Get both? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And just just let me know, Karen. Um, there's it's a manual process, so um, just connect with me when you need those OPI renewal units. Okay, great. Thank you. Yeah. No, I'm so glad you asked that question. Are there any other questions or, or comments? Um, can't wait for some of you to try out that course, the MSL, a greater state of knowledge course and, and let us know what you think. Um, and just be checking back on that site for new courses. Uh, Bobby is working on an Aspen basics course. That should be the next thing that we're opening up um, in the next few weeks. The, we have a trustee basics course also that's in development. Uh, and then we have a whole host of um, things planned for the shared catalog trainings. Um, and, and it's just, it's, it's gonna be something that grows over time. So um, hang with us as we do that soft and slow start and um, we'll learn together about what works for everyone as well. And again, I'm going to plug those help desk tickets. When you put those in there, the, the information that I get about the questions that you guys have inform the kind of training that I put out going forward. Um, so please don't, don't worry about opening a ticket where we get just as much out of it as you do, I'm pretty sure. Absolutely. So we're coming up to the end of our time. Um, it's about three minutes before the end of, of the time that we scheduled. I uh, can't thank you enough for joining us live today. We'll have a recording of this session posted to the MSL YouTube channel a um, little bit later this afternoon. And as always, please don't hesitate to be in touch. We'd love to hear from you. Pick up the phone. Um, and even though our phone, like our phones are all on our computers and digital, it's just exciting to hear that phone ring. So we really, really love to visit with you. Um, with that, thank you so much. And I'm so glad that you're able to join us to learn about our schedule of webinars and the MSL Learn service. Great. Thank you very much as well. Appreciate all that you do. Our pleasure. Okay, the recording's off, so...